we continue on with what is a pretty good start to this series, I think. I mean, we're only a handful of episodes in so far, and uh, that van is really buried. Um, interesting. This is the spot I'm thinking of, is it not? Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, there's... Yeah. You say there's probably some bad stuff around, like you. Um, can I just run you over and not have to deal with you? That seems like that might be easier than other options. Here, can we get up on this guy too and then just like start taking these guys out one at a time? Radiated undead. Here, let's go ahead and park it. 155 damage, I'll take that. 129. That would be my cat that just jumped up on my arm and totally messed with my aim. I'm not that terrible. I'm awful. I'm not that awful. Okay, no, I see you over there. Guy was trying to hide. We got one more shot in our varmint rifle. Come on. There you go. Thank you very much for that. Kitty, you want to come on over? She's like, nah, I'm good where I'm at. You're good where you're at? Let's see if I can... Can I turn this on? Yeah, there you are. She's just standing right here. Hi. You got a booger. It's the joys of being a pet parent. Okay, come on. Come on. No. Scratch your face. She's unconvinced. I will. I mean, but that's fine. You don't need to. Um, you know what? We should actually stop and check this guy. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's what I thought. Um, I think this one has the meat in it, so we'll throw you in there. Oh, oh, dang it. I never understand why things sometimes don't stack uh, properly. I, I suspect it's because they're in a container. And that creates some, some sort of stacking issue or something that it's in the container. It just doesn't work. Oh, there's another one. I'm just going to have to run you over, I think. It's kind of hard to see around my cat. Did we run it over? No, we didn't. Okay, what is happening? Run the stupid thing over. Why don't, why don't you run over? I don't understand. The other one got run over just fine. This one is immune to being run over. Hi, cat. I She's just headbutting the crap out of me right now. I mean, I don't know. Can I turn this on? Here, oh, there she, yeah. As soon as I do that, she's like, oh, now I'll stop. Okay. Figures. Oh, I love when the light stays on. Um, what is happening? Thing. Okay, here. Turn that one off. Turn that one off. There it goes. Oof, my goodness. Uh, did it die? No, it's still back here. I don't even understand. This is this is weird. All right, who's a good boy? Can I just leave you over there? Because I I'm not sure why I'm not able to to run that guy over. That just seems like some sort of weird thing is happening here, and I'm I am not understanding at all. Okay. So, the next order of business here, let's do this, because... Oh, no, you're you're pretty beefy. That's fine, we'll do it this way. One and two. It's fine. Dog's over there. And we'll just take the body shot. Don't mess around sometimes, you just take the body shot if that's what you got. Okay, so for the next order of business... Let's move this around just a little bit because we might need to be ready to just book it. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. Check that guy. Oh, look at you, man. Excellent. Here, take that, stack that, throw that in there. And then I guess we just throw that down there. Oh, whatever. Radiated guys sometimes carry ammunition and other things. So can we... Okay, we can get on this. All right, that was my main concern. As if we can get up here, I think we are safe. Now, before we get carried away, let us go ahead and drink that, and then we'll pick that guy back up, throw that in there, and we'll consume that. And I don't know where the can went. Right there, that's where it went. Consume that one, we'll keep the can. And that's probably... There, we'll do that, that's enough food. Well, you know what? 
the heck with it. We've got them. Let's just chow down on them for now, and then we'll throw all these guys in there for the moment. That's fine. We really do need to do something about all the the random foodstuffs we have, uh, cans and that sort of stuff flying around. Okay, so here comes the play. Maybe? I don't remember if maybe the first room is free. And then from there, it gets janky. Okay, that's what it is. Oof. Okay. It's not been that long since I've been in this place, so I should remember it. I'm just having trouble remembering it. Uh, you know what? Let's take this guy right now, and we'll just go use it in a minute. Just straight up. We have so many of them, and I'm not super interested in carrying tons of them around right now. And I know at some point we're going to be like, man, if only we had another one of these. If only someone didn't decide to just, you know, leave them behind, but that's fine. Remington 700. That right there is our upgrade. 92, 133, 86, 129. Yep, that is our upgrade. Although, shoot, <laughs> this one's loaded right now, so I kind of want to use the ammo in it. And then um, we can switch things out 762 compressor an mp5 drum 556 drum we'll take that i don't think we have any more room in other things and then we'll take the 762 compressor we can put that drum in there and that drum as well i'm not sure i mean i don't remember what the mp5 is in this game i thought it was a 556 but maybe not Okay, we'll take all that stuff. Let's go back up top right quick before we actually here. Do you? Aha. You are you are currently visible through the door. That's good. So this is part of the plan is we're going to run back over here and then let's open the storage on this guy. And actually, you know what? I said we would do this here. Let's just repair this thing right now. Okay, and refueled. So that is basically good to go. Uh, I don't think... Either of those bags are tall enough to hold this 308. So let's just throw that in the truck straight up. And then I think everything else, we still have some space in here, so it's not a big deal. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. We finally found ourselves, and I don't know where it is, a right there, a carrier for all of our medical stuff. So we need to, we need to utilize that in a in short order here. Okay. I'm just making sure that I haven't forgotten how to climb that because this is going to be needed. I'm pretty sure we can open this door right now, right? I thought we had a key card. Did we not? Am I hallucinating? I guess I'm hallucinating. I thought we found... Oh, it must maybe I'm thinking of the credit. Oh. Well... This was still worth it just for this stuff right here, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Oh, I bet we used it for this door? I bet we used it for that door. Oh. Well, crap. All right, well, we still got some decent stuff out of it. That Remington is, I think, going to end up being a really considerable upgrade for us, so I'm not upset with that overall. It's, it's totally fine. I mean, we'll find more key cards as we go along anyway, so it's not the end of the world that we didn't have enough to get in that place. Imagine the door will reset, I don't know, an hour or something like that. I'm not sure what the timing is on, on those doors resetting, but let's go ahead and head on over to the head of the snake that we need to cut off its head of the infestation. Yeah, I know, words. Yeah, I was afraid all the corpses would be gone. The thing that I'm really concerned about, though, is I think these guys are going to start respawning soon. Okay, we have a 100% filter, so we can we can do this for a second. And somewhere in here is a military crate. I remember this guy. I'm not messing around. I know where where this crate is. Oh my gosh. Um. Take that, take that, take that. Take another nine, I guess. 
there's a part of me that wants the M249 because I did not play with one of those previously. I don't care about that. 762, 556. We have... Ooh. The P90 is interesting. We'll take the P90. I'm... I don't remember if I messed with that one. That's a 9mm gun. That's... That's intriguing to me. So let's see if we can search a couple of these guys from here. Um, wow, there's an AR-15. Another drum. I don't know if it's... Here, let me... Uh, I gotta back off for just a moment. I gotta back off because... The thought I'm having here is we don't really have any additional weapons that we're like we're not carrying a drum right i think i've passed on multiple on multiple drums for the the 249 what do we have for ammo we have almost a full magazine's worth so how can i do this i think we have to have bigger backpacks in the truck because now we're finding these larger weapons. Alright, so let's relocate the P90 because then we can put the varmint rifle in there. And then I'm going to grab the 249. This is going to come with a drum. So it's already there and then we should be able to move all these things around, find that, and nope, I need the right one. That one. I dragged the ammo right there. Okay. Put that guy back in place there. And then that gives us a loaded weapon to use inside. Because I'm thinking if we move it quickly enough, we can probably get in there and take care of this infestation. Okay, let's pull out our baseball bat just because there may still be someone alive in here. You know what? Um, let's let's make sure we're not near this guy when his head goes explodey. Okay. I think we might have to wait a second here. I'm not sure. Nothing, dude. Really? Uh, let's see. How do I do this? Like that. Okay, perfect. Oh, I see you. There's a guy right there. That's what I'm trying to hit. Oh, and that's what I was afraid of is that would happen. Okay, let's just uh, do this a little bit. It'll be fine, I think. I don't know. I kind of want to use one of those guys. Okay, the infestation has been weakened. I don't see anyone spawning in this room right now. So I'm just going to keep hammering away at it. Okay. Next weekend stage. It sounds like someone's nearby, but I think they're in the other room. So I'm just going to keep going to town on this thing. We're going to have one more stage before it's done, I think. Last infestation weakening stage. Okay. I saw that guy. Get away. Okay. That was a fantastic idea to pull out the M249 and use that just in case someone spawns in the room. That was literally the reason I put ammo in that thing. For that incredibly specific reason. Holy cow, dude. That was amazing. That, that was... Um, that was money right there is what that was. Absolute money. Take all the ammo. We need all that stuff. All right, let's start with the hidden cache. We're going to need to get out of here and figure out how to get through all the enemies that are going to be out there, though. It's a whole other problem. Hey, there's a P90 mag, and we just found a P90. Oh, the MP7. Uh, we used an MP7 at the end of the last series. If I'm remembering my guns correctly. And that one was not bad at all. Military pants. What are we using? Jeans pants. Okay, so we have an upgrade right here on our on our pants. We can 
drop those and take the military pants. And just like that, we've gained some additional space. Very good. And then what do we got in here? Holy crap. XM2010. I think that might be a new one as well. Um, that looks like that thing is just ready to go as is. There's a Bravo key card. I said we'd start finding some key cards. There you go. 762 drum SVD mag. I don't care. Well, actually, no, I do care about that because that will sell for good money. And then 556 mag. I don't know if we need that. We'll take the ACOG though. I absolutely want the filter. Another M249 drum here. Let's put that guy in there because we can take that second drum. I'm fine with that. AK-15. Uh, I don't necessarily want that. And I realize this is all stuff that we could sell for money. So, ah, shoot. Decisions, decisions, right? 92%. That is not bad. I wonder if the filters degrade slower. I feel like maybe they degrade a little bit slower than they used to. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't necessarily really want these things, but I guess we can sell them. Okay, I gotta figure out how do I do this again like that. Okay, perfect. Uh, we probably need this gun ready, would be my hunch. I'm, I'm not sure what to expect here. I think this is going to be like having to make a break for it or something. A little, little concerned with what this is going to look like because there should be a bunch of zombies right outside the building now. Yeah, look at that. They're all gathered out there. Okay, well, let's search stuff. And if we need to, we can just make a break for the Hummer and jump in and drive off. That's kind of fine by me. ACR 556 pistol suppressor. I will always take pistol suppressors. Those are good money. Any of the suppressors are good money, really. Let's just be real here. It doesn't matter what it is. Any of them are good. 762 suppressor. Again, good money. I don't know that we can put that on the Guardian, but that would be kind of cool if we could. We'll have to check that and see what it does. Uh, XM2010 magazine. I don't think we... That's Is that what we found? Maybe that is what we found. Here, put you in there, and then we can take another P90 magazine. Uh, the Glock 20... 73, 85 meters, 84... Yeah, the Glock is worth taking. And we should switch to it when we have the opportunity. Okay, so we'll take that guy. I'm not worried about whatever else was in there. Like, literally don't even know. Okay, so we don't have advanced advanced lock picking. A little concerned about this junk pile making too much noise. Perfect. So if we go to this guy, we can stack those. Boom. All right, I think for now, what I need to do is put the gun away because I'm just going to make a sprint for this place. Or to get out of here, rather. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And then we can come back here and... start doing this. Because these guys... I go back to what I said on the previous one. These guys have good loot. Okay, fine. I'm just going to take the headshot. I'm annoyed. Or body shot, rather. You know what I mean. Okay, what you got for loot there, sir? Ten ammos. I mean... Oh, hi. How you doing? That's just a little too much running around for me. We could really use another Guardian magazine, I'm just saying. If the game would feel... If the game feels inclined to give us another legendary weapon item guardian magazine would be great guardian magazine i don't know if there's a guardian suppressor or like i said if we can even use that 762 suppressor if we can use that then i guess we don't need a guardian specific one but uh you all right kitty uh oh okay uh three rounds <laughs> Oh, man. Had to make that count. That is... That's unnerving. That's what that is, all right? Where's our uh, 
762. There you go. Drop that guy back in there. Here, let's be SMRT about this. And we'll just go ahead and go pop, 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 pop. Just channeling my inner community. Pop, pop. Hmm. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Good stuff there. Lots of bodies, lots of potential ammunition. This Guardian, man. It's good. It's really good. I mean, I'm sure we could do something similar with another weapon, but um, no. I'm liking it. I'm really enjoying this weapon. This was a good, really good find. I mean... Obviously, legendary weapon. Duh, of course, it's going to be a good find. But no, I'm 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 pleased with it. I really am. It's a good gun. It's delightful to use. I don't necessarily like that we have the full green look going on these days, but uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw some more 762 out. Where are you going? I realized that, oh, I was going to say, that might draw in the other guy. But it did not. We've checked these guys, right? Okay. I'm really disappointed that these infected zombies are not giving up more ammo and stuff. Like, that has not been my experience previously. I mean, hey, there's six. It's better than nothing. I was wondering what this guy was running after. It must have saw a rabbit or something. I don't know. I mean, it just the way that he took off, he was like... I'm out. I'm out of here. I got somewhere to be. Or alternatively, he knew that we were rolling in and going to just light him up. I don't know. Something along those lines. We still have more places we can go. It might be a, might be worth... Uh, okay. Sorry. I was staring at these guys going, are they bandits or zombies? I just had a moment where I thought they might be bandits, but clearly they are not. Uh, so it might be worth going over here to Elwood at some point. Just to see if there's uh, anything worthwhile in the hospital. Like, you know, medical equipment. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering, like, at this point, do we just head back to the base? Do we have enough stuff? I mean, we have found a lot of loot while we've been out and about here. I'm not sure what else we need at the moment. I, I kind of am tempted to go after... Well, it depends, but I'm kind of tempted to see if we can get a good spawn point with the intelligence laptop we have and just see what we can find there. We haven't found any coyote blockades, by the way, so that's still something that we might run into at some point. That would be good. I would be uh, just fine with one of those. How are we doing on our 90%? Okay, I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is we'll just roll in over here. This is the, uh, like, the first Patient Zero building. There you go. Patient Zero building. And there would be a dog. Hi, how you doing? Dog is dead. I don't mind killing any of those guys right there. That's... That's fine by me. Here, let's hop up on the back of this guy, though. And I guess uh, we have this M249. Let's just start drawing everyone over. Oops. Totally missed that shot. That was terrible. Um, I thought I heard someone down there. Yeah, the LMG doesn't do great damage. Oh, to, um... Shoot, I think I shot the truck there. On body shots, but... It's kind of hard to argue with the results otherwise. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, you're gonna be a problem! Okay, we need to, um, I need to find where the pills are. Where are the pills? I don't know where they are. There they are. Holy crap, dude. Okay, let's use another one. Let's not even mess around. That guy needs to be on that box and bandages should be down there. Ooh, I knew that was going to be a problem. I just, I totally saw that coming 
and being bad. Okay. Just go ahead and heal up right quick. Bone, bone, no meat. Um, sure, we'll take the meat, that's fine. Take the meat. Uh, I guess we can just straight up consume that. I'm okay with that. I like all these bodies stuck under the truck. And then we'll drink that guy, take that. Take the lockpick, okay. Let's pull the truck a little bit closer here. I don't remember this place very well. I think we have cleaned out everyone and we don't need to worry too much. But, oh man, can we not climb up this guy? Okay, there we go. But I was kind of thinking, you know, just in case, let's uh, let's just make sure we need to just get out of here. I like being able to get out of here. Oh, seven by nine, seven by eight. <laughs> Ah, oh, goodness. Greek prison key card. So that's a good one. What do we have here? The XM2010 magazine. Is that not what we found earlier? Right there. Okay, so that's the second one for that. Uh, SVD mag. Here, let's take that guy. We'll take another one of those. That's intriguing to me. Then I guess what we got to do is put this guy in that and take that and there we go let the game reload everything game's like ugh, dude do you know how much work it is to to load all this crap in and actually present it and i'm like yeah i don't i don't know whatever just do your thing i'm a fan of big backpacks what can i say i like big backpacks and i cannot lie we still need some bolt cutters because there's a very good possibility we're not going to be able to break into all of these things here. Never mind, we still cannot lockpick. Oh, you know what? We probably have the points now. There it is. <laughs> there are the points. Um, <laughs> we should work on this one to get up to parkour. So we need three more points for the next parkour. Lock is picked and uh, I mean I guess we can take this stuff just because we're going to end up selling a bunch of things and I ended up grabbing more than I meant for selling so it's okay take that ammo that's good stuff there we go that one was a pain it wasn't even really worth it well you know what I take it back that one was worth it what do we have here 10 percent I mean here, I'm just going to take a bunch of stuff. We're going to go run to the trader when we're done here and just get rid of all this crap that we don't really need to be carrying and that is not worth the space that it's taking up. Oh, goodness. Uh, guns, guns, guns. We can carry a couple of them. The radiation pills, I definitely want those. Those are worth it. Like, no joke there. Uh, tactical helmet, I think we can shove... Nope, I was going to say, I think we can shove another... 249, but what we can do is we can take another drum out of it, and that's fine. And we can probably take a magazine out of this guy. I'm just trying to be smart here. And a magazine out of that guy. I'm kind of curious. It looks like you can end up selling these things for more money if you take them apart. That's interesting. I hadn't really thought of doing that before. Hmm. Okay. Basically selling piecemeal. Very interesting. Would never have thought to do that before. This was just kind of, uh, I don't know, I was just thinking, well, I guess we can at least take the magazines. And then I thought, well, we probably also have more space that I really realize. Uh, so we need to hang a left and we'll be at the trader. Before I sell everything, I thought I'd stop and see how much money we have first. So thirty-five fifty-eight, and I will rejoin you on the flip side of selling off all the stuff we don't actually need to keep, like all these helmets. So that was good for about five grand, and there's still some uh, leftover things that you know we can do stuff with. I remembered I could just you know right-click and unload the ammunition from the varmint rifle, so I did that. 
And I ended up selling off the AK-15 because I don't really care we have that. And um, yeah, I took the magazine out and sold that and have learned a valuable lesson in this game that if you want to maximize your earnings, you take the magazines out of the weapons before you sell them. And just like magic, you get a bunch of money for them. Very, very handy little trick that I didn't even realize you could do. So that's a good thing. I think at this point, we are going to call this one good. We have done good work today. Took out a, a heart, if nothing else. Oh, the Bravo key card is probably worth four grand, but uh, I think we probably need to wait until maybe we have a couple of those guys, because I'm thinking maybe now we need to get through multiple doors. So we've got one Bravo, one Creek prison, and I don't necessarily want to spend the money on those guys right now. Actually, I might be, uh, we might be worth it to spend one on fitness and marksmanship and maybe even a thief just because that might give us enough points here. Here, do you have, what books do you have? So these are all multipliers. So there's one for fitness. Oh, 750 bucks a pop though. Uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll level naturally. It'll be fine. I'm not going to worry about it. We'll pick up on the next one. I'm going to head back to base, unload some stuff, completely redo our inventory because this is just a mess with 47,000 backpacks at this point. And then we will pick up from there. Maybe we'll even build a roof. Who knows? For right now, I'll catch you in the next one. Tell them thanks for watching. See you later.